see the USA on your feet today. We're here to walk across America. Now walk in place as we get that oxygen going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Keep walking in place, lifting those knees. Time to set our walking posture. Stay tall, relax your shoulders, loosen up your neck, chin up, belly button in, and let your toes start moving. We'll begin our journey in sweet Georgia. Coca-Cola was invented here. Martin Luther King started his dream here. And let us not forget about Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet! On to South Carolina with the beautiful Appalachian Mountains. Come walk the streets of Charleston with me. The state's motto is, while I breathe, I hope. Next stop, North Carolina. Hello, Greensboro, Durham, and hello, Chapel Hill. The Wright brothers invented and flew the first plane here. Time to pay a visit to Virginia. Jamestown was the first U.S. settlement, and Pocahontas walked where you are walking now. We're heading to the old-time state, Maryland. Francis Scott Key wrote the Star of Bangle Banner in Baltimore while watching a battle. Off to Delaware. This state is only 96 miles from east to west, but very important because it was the first state to sign the Declaration of Independence. Come one, come all to New Jersey. We're strolling here on the beautiful boardwalk in Atlantic City. Hey, hey, wait a minute. There's Miss America. Move your arms low from side to side because we're going to a real proper state, Connecticut. We're taking a campus tour of Yale University. Oh, I feel smart just walking here. Rhode Island is just a step away. It's the tiniest of all the states. It was started by Roger Williams in 1636. Keep that pace going. I'm right here with you. Massachusetts is right ahead of us. Gosh, I hope I see a Kennedy. We hit the Granite State, New Hampshire, where the motto is, live free or die. Climb up here. There's Maine. Look at all the pine trees. Can you smell them? Try harder. Now move those Tootsies to Vermont. In French, it means green mountains. To me, it means ha ha ha, maple syrup. We have arrived at the Big Apple, the state of New York. Niagara Falls, the Statue of Liberty, and Broadway. I can smell the soft pretzels and the cheesesteaks. Hey, we're in Pennsylvania. President Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address here. And you know what else? The Liberty Bell lives here. It's a little cracked, but it's here. I know, I know you're feeling that energy exploding in your body. Well, I'm taking you someplace that's going to make your heart beat. Washington, D.C., the seat of our government. I need three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Stand up straight, sir. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. You know, Washington is special. It's not a state. It's a district and our greatest historical city. Now, before the tour, I want you to get in a military mood. I want you to march while you're walking. Start to slowly move your arms. Come on, now march. Well, we've made it to Capitol Hill. Hey, that's some Capitol building. And here's 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, where the President of the United States lives. Oh, we'll do a tour of that on the next tape. There's the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial. I know something. I know you're walking tall and proud. Good luck, sir. Keep that marching. Come on. Hup, 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 hup. A view of 
the Mountain State, West Virginia. No flat lands here, so bend your knees and keep a moving. We're walking through some of the most luscious farmland found anywhere. Peach trees and apple trees as far as the eye can see. Coming up is Kentucky. Yep, you're walking on bluegrass. <laughs> Matter of fact, you're walking on bluegrass to bluegrass music. <gasps> Look at all the people at Churchill Downs watching the Kentucky Derby. Now there's some gorgeous legs. Now don't let your hands get bored. Shake out your wrists and fingers. Go ahead. Tennessee is the place to be. It's the land of music. You know, the Grand Ole Opry is just around the corner. Walk in and listen a bit. Howdy! Oops, we gotta be roaming to the heart of the Deep South, Alabama, Mobile, Montgomery, Birmingham. Memories of majestic mansions surrounded by fields of cotton, pine trees, and camellias. I do hope all this beauty is putting a smile on your face. Time to relax already. You're in Florida, the sunshine state. It's also the orange and grapefruit state. Hey, let's pay a visit to Cape Canaveral One, and see the two, space shuttle. Lift off. One day, lift off. I'll take you for a walk on the moon. I said M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 Mississippi, the Magnolia State, honey. You know, the mighty Mississippi is escorting us on our southern travels. It's a bit warm and humid. We should get our breathing in. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Another one. Inhale. your legs moving, you got your arms going, time to let that waist feel the music. That's it. That's it. Move the waist. Find your rhythm. Find it. Remember to hold your abs in tight and keep that chin up. Say hello to the land of opportunity. We're in Arkansas. This state is known for its natural beauty. Tourists come from all over to visit Crater of Diamond State Park, the only diamond field in the USA that's open to the public. So if you see something shiny, pick it up. It's yours. I hope you're shining on our walk today. Oh, me, oh, my, I have come home. Welcome to my state, Louisiana. Come on, my share. Let me show you around. But before I do, I want to see that back straight and those shoulders strong. Help yourself, I know it. Let those arms go crazy. Let them dance, honey. Let them dance. Now we're passing through Shreveport, Lake Charles, and Baton Rouge to get to my home place, my birthplace, New Orleans. I was born in the French Quarter four years ago. <laughs> Hey, I hope this jazz is making every bone in your body feel good because this walk is strengthening your bones right now. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. Now get out of those Cajun restaurants. Get out. Put down that praline. Put down that praline. Come on. Come on. I love you, Shirley. Now it's time to spread your wings and speed up your legs a bit. You're about to do some sweating in Texas. 
Let's take in some of that Texas air. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, stretch up. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. There are more cattle ranchers here than in any place on the map. One of them is bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. Now, for you vegetarians out there, Crystal City, Texas is for you because it's the spinach capital of the world. See, I try to please everyone. Make your arm movements bigger. You're a rancher now. Did you ever see so many oil wells in your life? You can tell Texas has a big heart. Its motto is friendship. The name of our next destination is Oklahoma. It comes from two Choctaw words. Okla means people and Homa means red. Today, Oklahoma has one of the largest Native American populations in the United States. Just a little reminder to tuck in your pelvis as you walk so your buns feel the workout. Squeeze! Ooh, we turn up the oven. The biscuits are cooking now. Your toes are on the most fertile soil in America. Wake up, Dorothy. You're in Kansas. Posture check. Keep your neck loose. Uh-huh. Suck it in. You know what I mean. Keep those knees bent. Uh-huh. You know what I mean. I'm going to tell you why I love Kansas so much. Because it's the bread basket of the USA. Kansas ranks first amongst the states in wheat production. Now pick up those rolls. I mean, pick up those feet. Our next state used to be just mostly desert, but this man named Julius Martin started planting trees in 1872, and now it's Nebraska. Grab your corn huskers and walk like this. No, 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 walk like this. Just let it all sway. Just let it all sway. Think of all the calories you're burning. Hundreds of them. Let that be part of your motivation. Oh yeah, burn calories, burn. Now Mark Twain grew up in this show me state, Missouri. Can you believe that silver rainbow in the sky? It's the gateway to the West. A 630-foot steel arch that forms the backdrop to the skyline of St. Louis. Just concentrate. Just concentrate on doing the best you can do. Hey, that is all I ask of you. No, no, it don't surprise me. You want to start snapping your fingers. I feel the same way. Go ahead and pop them. Now try to keep your arms moving as much as possible. Yeah. Howdy from the Prairie State, Illinois. Hey, let's head to that 110-story building in Chicago and walk up the stairwell. Now, you're going to need a little more extra H2O. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Inhale. Exhale.
Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah. Oh, I just got to tell you one more little tidbit before we leave. In 1955, a small hamburger shop opened in Chicago called <laughs> McDonald's. We're almost at the crossroads of America, Indiana. Have you ever in your life seen so much corn? There are over 85,000 farms here that just grow corn. My favorite. At this time, I would personally like to thank all 85,000 farmers and their families. I just got to tell you, I think you're doing great. It would be easy just to do nothing but not you. You always challenge yourself. In the 1800s, Johnny Appleseed walked hundreds of miles in his bare feet to plant apple trees in the spectacular state of Ohio. The name comes from the Iroquois word for something great. Let us not forget the Hawkeye State, Iowa. Their motto is, our liberties we prize, our rights we shall maintain. Are we happy for having the freedom of walking across America any time we want? Yeah! Uh-huh! I do hope you are sweating by now. We've been walking for about 20 minutes, and I know you feel mentally and physically stronger! a place where there's a lot of movement going on. Stop in the name of love. We're strutting our stuff in Michigan. In the early 1900s, this gentleman named Henry Ford invented the Model T, the car. Thousands and thousands roll off the assembly line each year. Back then, a car cost $290. Let me ask you, if you could be a car, what kind of a car would you be? I want you to concentrate on extending your arms and reaching in front of you like you're pulling a rope. Now, work those muscles in your back, shoulders, and chest. Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Stomach in, head up high, and pull. And reach, and reach, and reach for your help. Keep reaching. It's right in front of you. Keep reaching. Question for you. How many cherries have you consumed in your lifetime? Yeah, you have to count the cherries on the Sundays and the banana splits and the cherry pie. Well, Michigan is a leading cherry producer. And remember, life is a bowl of cherries. Oh, and by the way, thank you, Mr. Gordy, for all that great Motown sound. Wisconsin is called America's Dairyland. With cows galore and miles of green pastures, it's the number one producer of milk and butter and cheese and butter. Let's breathe some of that buttery air. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now watch yourself going to our next state, Minnesota. They have 15,000 lakes there. But let's not waste time. We're going to the Mall of America, the largest shopping center anywhere. Uh Uh-uh, no window shopping. Keep your energy up. Now you're going to see one of the wonders of the country. And it was created in the state of South Dakota. On the side of Mount Rushmore is carved the heads of four presidents. And these faces are 70 feet high. Hey, over there, on the right, there's room for one more face. Don't look now. Come on, just keep walking. Don't look now. We are surrounded by 13 feet sunflowers. North Dakota is the heartland of America. Montana is the fourth largest state in the USA. Did you know that? Like islands in a sea of fields, farmhouses stand out in the flat Great Plains of Montana. Its nickname is Treasure State, for its land is rich in gold, silver, copper, and coal. You must see Yellowstone National Park, located in Wyoming. This park is the oldest and largest in America, and is the home of Old Faithful, a spring that sprouts hot water 100 feet in the air every 73 minutes. If I could only yodel to prepare you for our next foot adventure... It's called the Switzerland of America. It has thousands of mountains and 54 peaks. That's right. Colorado is our tallest state. Romantic deserts, mesas, mountains, canyons and caves. No wonder New Mexico is justly named the land of enchantment. Native Americans have lived here for over 10,000 years. After an evening thunderstorm, desert cactus flowers bloom under the stars. You can slow your pace a bit. Just keep movement in your arms and upper body as you continue this walk. The painted desert, the petrified forest, the mighty Grand Canyon can all be found in Arizona. The Grand Canyon is an awesome sight. It's a mile deep and 277 miles long. After doing this tape for a year, I want you to get to that canyon, walk it, and think of me. you'll find Utah lying in the heart of the Rocky Mountains. My favorite place to walk is near the Great Salt Lake. It has eight times more salt as the ocean does. The salty water makes it very easy for a swimmer to float without using an inner tube. The promise of gold and silver brought thousands of prospectors to the hills of Nevada in the 1860s. Now millions flock to Reno, Tahoe and Las Vegas to find instant wealth. It's so quiet and serene in our northwestern states. Idaho has a curious somewhat house shape with the chimney almost touching Canada. Idaho is nicknamed the gem of the mountains to describe its stunning scenic beauty, and because those mountains produce garnets, opals, sapphires, and rubies. But the most important gems are the millions and millions of potatoes grown here. As you feel the soothing music, breathe deeply with me. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Chin up. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. I can see the evergreen state from here, Washington State. Most of this land is covered by beautiful Douglas fir, cedar and spruce trees, and red and golden delicious apples. The highest mountain in the state is Mount Rainier, wearing a year-round ice cap for everyone to see. You're about to walk through the last frontier, Alaska, whose state motto is North to the Future. One third of the state lives in the Arctic Circle, a vast wilderness of glaciers, ice fields, and lakes. Alaska is our largest state, double the size of Texas. Eskimos and Native Americans make up one sixth of the population. Their state flower is forget me nots. I hope you never forget our walk together. Get ready to cross the state border into the Beaver State, Oregon. If you want to know where most of our lumber comes from, it's right here. Now, Portland is the largest city. It is called the City of Roses because it has an abundance of parks filled with roses to welcome those who pass by. They'll welcome you when you pass by. Time to cool down as we visit the last two states. California is our third largest state with a population of over 30 million people. California is called the land of opportunity for its sunny climate, amazing natural beauty, and relaxed lifestyle. From the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco to the stars lining Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles, California is a rich tapestry that is certainly one of a kind. Now we come to our 50th state, Paradise, the Aloha State, Hawaii. This state is made up entirely of islands. The islands are actually the peaks of huge underwater volcanoes. People flock to Hawaii to enjoy the warm climate, the coral reefs, sandy beaches, and surfing waves. I brought you here last to walk the beaches of Maui, Kauai, and Waikiki. It's time for you to relax your body, your neck, your shoulders, your arms that have been moving so much. Relax your wrists and fingers and rest your lungs and heart that works so very hard for you. Now don't slump over during our cool down. I want that same tall posture you began with. As your anatomy relaxes, I want you to open your mind and listen to what I have to say. Thank you for taking this all-American walk with me. I hope it made some of the stress and worry disappear and new hope come over your horizon. I wish you health. I wish you happiness. And above all, I wish you peace.